all right so i said i was gonna go to the discovery trail this time so here we go dad's with me this week dad wave hi dad <laughs> so we're going to take this trail and i will show you the key points So I guess the first thing you come across is uh, this wooden board here. Looks like you can launch here is what they're trying to say. Uh, the water's not bad. You can see through, you can see the bottom of it. But I guess you'd, to walk a paddleboard off this might be a little bit tricky. But you have your water shoes on, right? And you can either go that way or that way. All right, let's continue walking. Yeah, it's the same one. Discovery Trail. I always wanted to know what's making all the noise down at my little marsh there. Would you believe? And I swear it's a big, like a big animal. Would you believe it's, it's just a little frog? A little toad. Let me see if I can see him. I think I lost sight of him. I didn't know I lost him too, you know. Where is he? He's between these two boards. Try and zoom in. Oh, there he is. Did he turn around? No, that's not. That's his friend we was talking to. So where is he? Yeah. So I'm with my eyes now. I can't find him anymore. Oh, he stopped looking at me. So, this small little toad is what he's making. All the noise. It's about to mark. Over there is like it. It's about to mark. Over there it's like it's right where you push off the and the um, paddle board was really nice. Yeah it was better. Yeah, it's yeah. a kept beach, this one is not kept. Yeah. Alright, let's go. This you know. Did I turn around? It looks like you won't get lost either because there's a tree with sign on it saying if you're walking on the trail, go that way. So we're going to go this way. So the man in the picture had a walking stick. So my dad decides to pick up a walking stick. Oh, <laughs> and the water here is so clear. Um, you have the lily pads, but then you can look right down. You can look right down in the water, it's so clear. <laughs> and that is taking a picture of me taking a video. <laughs> turn around. And it looks right on the lake. And there's a house over there. Wouldn't you like to live here? Alright, so there's a little bit of a clearing where you can walk to. To the edge of the... not too far. So it does go, go down. But now you can look out and see a lot of things. Maybe even plan a route to go canoeing. Over there. There look, it looks interesting. <laughs> so here comes point two. Right after you take in the scenic view, the view at the little clearing, we'll have point two. I'll show you what point two says. So take a look at that and you can have a read and pause it. So here's campsite, uh, sorry. Uh, Point number three. Point number three is <laughs> chipmunks and squirrels and stuff. Is a nursery pool. Let me see if it goes on to the other page. Yes, it does. Here's the other page. All right. So what?
Just taking the opportunity to zoom in on this lily pad flower here. So where's the so-called swamp? Right here? Right here, they say. That's so pretty. Swamp is part of the We were talking and I almost missed number four. What does number four say? If number four is not very far from number three. So let me show you number four. All about the amphi amphibians again. Make you take a look here. So this is a four. This is the end of four. I know. Make you take a look here. So we walked. The trail follows the edge of the, the lake all the way around. That's what it's doing so far. So go this way. And that what does that sign say? Sharbot Lake Boundary. Hmm. So, after leaving four, we're going to follow the trail. This says Sharbot Lake Boundary. So we're thinking, with this information, the trail also goes off that way. But if you look on the map, it says right here we're supposed to be heading inland. So, I think at this fork, either go this way. Or turn inland that way. I think <laughs> Ida taking pictures. I think we're gonna follow the map inland this way okay. and go okay. that way. <laughs> There's a sign. And so this one's gonna take us inland and maybe up the hill to where maybe our campsite where we're coming from because we had to come down the hill so maybe this is taking us back up we're going up here it's uphill Sorry. so we picked the right way because now we're at five good thing we didn't go down that other path so here we are at five what does five say Bug. So this is five. Oh, I guess we didn't finish reading four. So this is a four. This is the end of four. And now we're at... Now we're at five. The snap bowl. Let me zoom in here. And pause it and it goes to nope oh, after that is six okay so let's go so guys when you get to the Sharbot Lake boundary site go inland I'm sure they meant to put a little walking man to guide you but maybe he fell off so here's another guy to show you that you're on the right track So, a little bit of a hill, so that's where we're coming from. And we still, I think it has topped out now. Yeah. So, going to the uh, top the plateau. plateau. <laughs> yeah, so, a little bit of a hike up, not too bad. If you're not fit like me, you'll be a little bit out of breath by the time we get here, but it's all right. Sure, it goes back down. <laughs> all right, let's go find six. I have spotted six. I have spotted six. I have reached the top. <laughs> oh, we're looking on the campsites now. So this is six. And if you look way in the distance, you'll see the campsites 
other people's campsite. So that's where we're camping. It's tricky to get a picture. You'd have to stand here. Oh, there's a beach. Is this the main beach or is this our beach? That's our beach. We can see the boat. It might be our beach. Huh? Yeah, I think this one is our beach. So. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, 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 that's that. So post six. Post yeah, six. Overlooks. The camping grounds. Yeah, two steps to the right. Two steps to the right. Where's my right? This way? One, two. <laughs> Yeah. That wants me to take two steps to the right and then do what? One step to the left. One step to the left. Yeah. Yeah. And turn around and smile. Okay. Alright, so six overlooks the campsites. And what does six say? Six has a chipmunk feeding his face <laughs> and its oaks and edges. So let's zoom in here and you can take a read. You can pause it if you need more time. So we're here at six and we're looking out and we notice on this tree, we're reading about the oak trees. <laughs> we notice a sign on this tree. Ziggy's look out. I we were wondering if it was Ziggy Marley. <laughs> but it's really nice. It overlooks the campsites and the swimming area and the canoe. The canoe lock. From Ziggy's lookout, we're just going to continue down this trail to seven and eight. We're almost done. And we're going from six to seven and it looks like this one might be downhill. So it might be an easy walk, let's see. This part of the trail is open and sunny. So not too much forest cover. Oh, there's a little man here saying that you're going the right way. This little man. All right, so open area, not a lot of tree cover. If you're doing this late in the day, this might be a bit sunny and hot. So here we are at 7 and I'll show you how to get here. The sign says go to the lookout and it, it, it points you. So it, it go left instead of continuing down the trail. And so this is our lookout. So I'm going to take you down to what I think they want you to see. If it was, I was telling dad that if it was like early spring, you'd be able to see more and this would be open because not a lot of trees would be, not a lot of leaves would be on the tree and it would be a gorgeous view. But the trees are kind of blocking the view. There is a, a small trail to go further, but I'm not going to take it because I'm a coward. So, so it's not much to look at right now because um, trees are in the way, but this would be gorgeous in early spring. It would be gorgeous in early spring. All right, let me just take a walk down there and see. Very carefully though, very carefully. Alright, this is as far I'm as I'm going to go down the trail, guys. And if you just look through the trees, you'll see that. But I think coming back here early spring, not even early spring, like just when winter breaks, when all the trees haven't busted out all the leaves yet, you'll be able to see perfectly at this point. So we'll come back and take that picture. But for now, that's your visibility. <laughs> Not sure. So that's a, that's the reading for seven. And let me zoom in here on the words. Seven is you find a post, right? So we saw this post and we thought, oh, seven. Uh-oh, but there is no number on the post. And then you have this sign that says, look out that way. So you could go that way or back to the trail this way. So 
we decided to go to lookout and at the actual point there's a seven seven post so they said they moved it from here and carried it all the way up so let's go down to eight which is not far from seven So uh, the trail does an interesting wind down by these these rocks here. So you're passing by these rocks and you have to watch your footing because there are rocks, rocks at your feet too. So look down but every now and again stop and enjoy the forest. I think this would be a like a ravine, ravine fall down. So it's very steep on that side. So just make sure you be safe. And just on the trail, just checking out the squirrel, doing the squirrel thing. He ran across, stood on a rock to say hi, but by the time I got out the camera, he was up this tree. <laughs> and just, just to make sure that you know you're going the right way, here's a little guy to guide you as well. So you know you have to go up this hill. So here's another lookout point. This is a nice one as well. I don't think we're at eight as yet, but this one was pretty cool. It still looks over the same swimming area and beach, but from a different side. I'm gonna try and go down to this rock here to get a better view. Yeah, so that's the view yeah. from the rock. Yeah. But don't go any further though because you'll fall down there. But yeah, this is cool. It's another lookout point. All right, let's go try and find eight. So here we come to another fork in the road. Um, you have the option of going this way. The trail goes through here. Or this way, another trail goes through here. But we're thinking if you go that way, It'll take you back to further in to the hiking trail. So we're going to go this way because we know the car is this way. I see a, I see a squirrel. Oh, he ran away. He ran off. <laughs> so what might seem very treacherous and like, what, like you're going the wrong way, it actually winds back to the original trail that you were on. Let me see if I can see where the road is. Let me grab you a uh, zoom in. There it is. So there's the original. Oops, too fast. <laughs> there's the original gravel path uh, back there. That's the original path that we took when we first came in. They graveled that one. But this one, even though you might think you're going the wrong way because it looks weird, eh, you're, you're okay. So lots of rocks. Watch your step. Wow. And so we'll come down from that way. The, this little man was telling you that if you wanted to, you could start your trail here, but you'd start it in reverse. You'd start at 8. Um, but it brings you all the way back to 1. Brings you all the way back to 1. So that was a successful hike. Yay! What to do with the next one? Is that. We we'll have to find it. Is that you go this way? All right, go this way first to find it. Other tree that was going that way. And the face is there. So, I realize now where is the... So we're at the end of the trail. And we came from up there. And we're now back at one. But you remember, there was another trail pointing at that way. Where we, where, where we said, uh, Mr. Dr. Falca, we know the car is over here. So we came from there. I wonder if that is it. But we saw two down, sir. Yeah, two is down yeah, there. So if you go this way, you wouldn't see two. No, we want to find it. So we came from up there and I thought that would find eight somewhere on the trail but we didn't but now we're back at one so now now we're back at one this is one the glare is on the sign so we haven't seen it so it is a cliff clingers and cave dwellers maybe we should have found a cave but let's read it and continues here as a porcupine and the conclusion so let's read this one beneath the ridge
and then the conclusion. So, I think next time we'll find eight because here's a map, and we went to seven. We did the loop behind the the uh, rocks, but we didn't see the eight sign. So next time when we get there, we'll make sure, make it a point to find eight. So to be continued, because I'm hungry. So we're going to go find some food. So next time when we get there, we'll make sure, make it a point to find eight. So to be continued, because I'm hungry. So we're going to go find some food. I decided to go back up there and find eight, so let's go. <laughs> On the trail, here's a little chipmunk. Hey, Chippy. Trail chipmunk. So we're in the area where eight should be. These are, these are the rocks that they were talking about. Let me go up some more. So, yeah, this is a mountain. These are the rocks and the crevices within the rocks that they were talking about. When you read eight, the sign for eight, when you read down the pamphlet, but I'm not seeing the... And here's the trail. So let's go to the top of the trail and see if we see the sign for eight. This is a mystery. And remember I said don't watch your, watch, watch your step because it's a very steep steep uh, way going down so let's go further up oh i like this i like this this view here where you can see it going all the way down so let me examine up here and crevices in the rocks good hiding places <laughs> do we see any porcupines <laughs> i don't think we're going to see anything we haven't seen much wildlife just the usual squirrels and chipmunks anyway let's go at the top of the trail I think we missed it up here so let's see dad believes that it was that sign with no number and I'm thinking it might be true so now watch where you step in I have all my sneakers so it's up here where all the signs were. I'm just looking around if I see any more signs. I don't see any more signs. It has to be that one. So we're back at that place that says lookout and trail and we think it's this one with no number. There's another post here. What does that say? It says nothing. Anyway, up that way was seven. So, I think we're just going to assume this post with no name is it, and the rocks and ridges that they were talking about is down there, because that way is definitely seven, and then this winding, it winds all the way around, is the trail for eight, and I showed you the rocks, so I'm going to just say that's eight, and I need to replace the sign, let's go home. <laughs> Thank you.
So confirmed. We did a little spin around. We went that way. We went that way. And we went down that way. Came back up that way. We could now going back down that way. I can't see anything other than this is it. And they didn't replace. Something happened to the sign and they just didn't get around to replacing it. But like it said, we're looking at cliffs and rocks and crevices. And down there is cliffs and rocks and crevices. So that's my new eight. I'm going to say trail complete. I just felt like touching the rock. I think there's an ant on this rock. Just doing doing what what ants do. So we reached the end of the trail. So we're done. Discovery trail. So we're done the trail and it was it was good. It was good. Good walk. Little mix up, couldn't find eight, but we sorted that out in our head. <laughs> so um, we're done. That's just taking a picture of the the uh, map there in the back. So he's just taking a picture uh, to remind himself of the, the expedition that we just went on. So that was good. It was good. Good walk. I'm tired now. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get some food. <laughs>